Okay, in this presentation we are going to look at continuous random variables, in particular a uniform random variable and a variable that's based on a uniform random variable. Suppose that the distribution of a physical coefficient x can be modeled using a uniform distribution on the interval 0 to 1. Okay, a uh, researcher is interested in the distribution of y, which is an adjusted form of the reciprocal of the coefficient of x. So it, y equals 1 over x minus 1. So if x is equal to, let's say, 1 half, okay, uh, 1 over x is equal to 2, and therefore y would equal to 2 minus 1, which would be 1. Okay, show that the probability density function of y is given as follows. So you have to sh show this here. And show that the mean of y does not exist. Okay, so there is actually a sort of definition for that that we can sort of use later on. Now, so what we're going to do here is just sort of start this off a little bit. Okay, so this sort of requires a, a couple of different approaches. So what we're going to do is start off with the cumulative distribution of y, capital F of y, okay, which we would state as probability of y less than some specific outcome of y, lowercase y. So it's essentially we just need somewhere to start essentially so we have to tr sort of try something out and so the probability so using y we re-express that as this expression here 1 over x minus 1 is less than y okay and then we rearrange that again to say just that actually we add 1 to both sides and then we rearrange it as follows to get probability of x greater than 1 over y plus 1, that is equal to the cumulative de distribution function. Okay, now just actually recall this is a uniform random variable. Okay, so this is something we can actually express. Use the fact we have to we have to sort of look for things that we can use. And in this case, we're sort of relying on the fact that this is a uniform distribution. Okay. Now, so I'm just going to go down here a little bit where I have some space here. So I'm just going to sort of remind ourselves what the, the density function would look like between 0 and 1. Okay. So for some value k, the probability of being greater than k would be this area here. And the, that area there will be essentially 1 minus k. So the probability of x being greater than k is equal to 1 minus k. Okay, makes sense if you just recall how the uniform distribution works. So that's how we go from this line here down to this line here. Okay, so we have an expression here for the cumulative distribution function. And what we can say is that it is equal to this expression here. Okay, now this is something we can work with. Okay, really it sort of helps and make, it makes sense and highlight, but also you have to sort of try and use all the information given to the, in the question. And that includes using the fact that the this is an informed choice to go somewhere here because we were told it was uniform so we had to sort of see how we can leverage the uniform distribution our knowledge of the uniform distribution to help us get to get us through this question okay so it wasn't a, a total stab in the dark uh, the way i went with the question there was a sort of a logic to it and you know what would happen here is you might try this out a few times you might not uh, i got lucky the first time in this video but you know in real life it probably got would take me three or four times but really, essentially, what I'm doing here is I'm trying to leverage my knowledge of the uniform distribution, okay? The mean, the variance, and all that sort of stuff. So anyway, where are we? We're here now, okay? We have this expression here, and essentially, we're nearly home now. So the probability density function, lowercase f of y, is a derivative of the cumulative distribution, okay? So essentially, what we do is differentiate that. Okay, so different, differentiate 1 minus 1 over y plus 1, 
And we, when we differentiate that, I'll just get rid of this here just to sort of make life easy to look at. So essentially, yeah, straightforward derivative, okay? Uh, just remember to put this in at the end where y is greater than zero, okay? You're told that uh, in the question there somewhere, yeah. Just don't forget that bit, okay? Little prompt. Now, the second part is we have to show that the mean of y does not exist. Now, also, we starting off, we know that y is greater than zero. So that actually comes into play straight away here when we're dealing with our limits of integration. So anyway, apart from that, this is our standard definition of the expectation of y. And what we're going to do there straight away is put in our density function into that expression. And then what we'll do there is we'll just uh, expand it out. Okay. Now this takes a little bit of guile with regard to integration by parts and integration and stuff like that. So essentially what we're going to do here is just to sort of uh, quickly help you through it there. And to say that, where are we? Yeah, it's substitution in this case. So just letting uh, a substitution calculation, integration by substitution, we can re-express it as follows here. And in this case, uh, this is using this integration by substitution technique, we get, what we get is, breaking it up, the expectation of y is the integral of one plus x to the power of minus one plus one plus x to the power of minus two. And essentially, well, just when we integrate that out, we get two expressions. Okay. Now, this is the first part, the important part here. Okay. This particular expression here does not give us uh, a countable number. Actually, if we evaluate that as uh, for infinity, we get infinity. Okay. So that means that the expectation of y is always going to be infinity minus one. Okay, so it's essentially, you know, if you sort of use the standard conventions for dealing with these sort of calculations, you sort of ultimately assume that the expectation of y is infinity, which is not actually, it means it doesn't exist essentially. You can't have infinity as a mean, okay? So the integral is not finite. What we need is a, De uh, definite integral okay so that means we're like the expectation or the the expectation of y doesn't exist so that's it and uh, this the the lesson from that uh, exercise really apart from the integration by substitution which is always like integration by parts integration by substitution have all of those ready in your mind but the guile here was just trying to sort of get the most out of our knowledge of the uniform distribution to try and help us there. Okay, so that was a key point there, the uniform distribution. Okay, so if you don't know where to go, that's the direction to go for. Okay, we'll leave it there.